That's Madge, you alright? Yes, man, what's going on, Matthew Smith, man? Good, man. Good to, good to yeah, see you, man. Chill in, man, chill in, what are you saying? Not a lot, man, just to feel a bit waved. <laughs> yeah, same, yeah. bro. There's this branded thing going on here, man, trust me. Oh, that's hard. What, what, what brand is it? I don't even know, man, it was Jake that got it. Hard, hard. Fuck knows, man, I'm just, I'm just here getting touched, me, man, fully. Sick, man. So, talk to me about Time Matters, man, because. I didn't expect you to drop a tape, you know. I was quite surprised. Yeah, like, yeah. Surprised when you dropped it because obviously, like everyone else was dropping tapes, and then like yeah. you didn't announce it or anything. I just, I just yeah. think you dropped it, didn't you? You know, it's you know, with time matters. Like I've had that like the concept for time. Like, I've had that concept for ages. Like time matters. It's like it's just a re like relevant to everything really. Like your time matters just in general. Like so, like I've had that concept for time, but I didn't really have a tape, and I was getting tunes together. And then like it was just fitting right, like the tunes were fitting right, like four or five tunes in were just fitting right, and I thought, yo, nah, I can turn this into a tape. And obviously Jacobs was making his tape at the time, then he dropped his, and I already had like eight, nine tunes already deep, so I thought, you know what it is, I'll put this together and I'll work around it, record more tunes, I'll fing it up and I'll release it out. Because I ain't really got like a solid art like a solid work of myself out there really. Yeah, most of the stuff you really see online is like preem and stuff like that, so I wanted to get something out as myself. Because like yo. In terms of preem, we're all, we're all a, um, a collective, but individually, we've all got tunes the same way. So I just wanted to put that across. Right there. I mean, what kind of, how, how has it been received, the tape? Has it like got like good feedback? Then? Yeah, you know, it's, I didn't really expect the feedback, to be honest. Like, it got right, some really good feedback, man. Of a lot of people, and some people I didn't expect, and stuff like that. So yeah, no, it's got a lot of feedback, man. I'm gonna definitely drop a couple more tapes. I wanna work on a preem tape as well. When K95 comes back to ends, I'm onto it, man. I'm gonna work on a preem tape, hopefully. I'm gonna get just all types of music, man. Just straight out, man. Just need to just push everything out. I mean, it's interesting because you, you do different references like Balotelli and the Switch. I mean, what yeah. kind of. I'd have given her earth like I'm Balotelli. Take on any four, any adversary. Says she like a man, no, off and ready. Where does like the Italian kind of influence come from? It? Like, does that. Because I know, I know there's a bar that Teaser says in like. Too realist, like Fugazi or something. Kind of the gate like us, uh uh, the software dripping, the dress code wavy, and it's all good fans. We make the dance go crazy. I ain't come out for no beef, but touch when I'm in, I make the whole dance vacate. It is Fugazi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, nah, remember with Teaser, I don't like he already had his verse already strapped, and he just came at the booth and he's like, Yo, I've got this verse, boom, boom, boom. Then he's like, Dance, but he's like, Yo, I'm gonna make it dance, like, it's gonna be like a fucking dance vacate. Spot the bars and then he's coming with his hook and that and he's just off the dome he's just coming like I'm gonna give an F like I'm Balotelli and then it I was like oh shit 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 and then he had to S out and then he's gone yeah I recorded it sent me it through kind of worked on it from there really but yeah now I rate that tune 100% man yeah man I mean how long how, how long did it take to, to make the tape was it a couple of years then or nah not really like yeah. like the tunes were just dotted around really like I won't say like it wasn't really structured on a proper like Full thing, like I didn't sit there and be like, Yo, I want to do like that. I'm gonna structure this tune. I just had the concept and I was just making tunes. So I'd say, Yo, it, like two, three months of tunes. And then, like, I started to listen to the tunes and I thought, Yo, the form in a way where it, it sounded nice. And then I just started to like go back, re record the tune, re record the verses, mix it, so and so. So, yeah, now it was just one of them ones, really. Mm. Kind of like fingered in his own way. Yeah. Polished up, man. I mean, like, what, what? How would you stay like out of everyone's preem sound? Obviously, you've got your own. Yeah. You, everyone's got their own sort of individual mark on the group. I mean, how? Yeah. How would you say you come with it? How would you? How would you describe Mads to like? I feel like yo, you know, like in terms of preem sound, everyone's got their own different sauce. Everyone's got their own different sound. Like, obviously, Kamali's got his thing, Auto thing and stuff like that. He's got his splitting thing. I just I contribute in terms of obviously the rawness because my voice as well. I'm from obviously I'm from a peak. Can tell by my voice, like I've got like a strong strong accent so I feel like I play in terms of that part and obviously like I rap mostly so yeah no, that's it really it's just like that's why I play the part man yeah man it's interesting to see I mean what's it been like going and doing all these shows because obviously I remember when I first met you guys like yeah. you were fairly under the radar like you had done a couple yeah, of tunes yeah, yeah. and like I think I'd, I'd actually heard of you and Jacobs before there was kind of like preem sound and then like yeah, yeah. developed into like preem sound I mean how does it feel having like quite a small following? Like I know it's like your following's got massively like in the past year. Just the couple, last past past couple of months it's gone yeah. up. How does that feel like to get? Nah, I rate I rate yeah. him one hundred percent. I like I'm glad that people are recognizing what we're on and what the music that we make make a show up. Like no one like 
not even on like a, a, a big editing, like no one's making like that type of music in Yorkshire period of what we're thinking. So I just feel like, yo, I, like, I respect everyone man, that's locked in and stuff like that. The feedback's been good, man. Hopefully we can push more and just get everything out and get yeah. locked and loading, man. So like, you know you named Mads, so where does that come from? I've never asked oh, like, man, the, name, the, <laughs> name, the groups and the names. Yeah, like. yeah, nah. Like, I've had that, I think it was my older brother, it's called Courtney, in it? Like, I think he must have, when I was younger, it's not like an MC name, like, 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 Mads has been there from since I was like, nine, ten. I think he named me that, like, I don't know how, still to this day, I'm trying to find out, like, like, where's that name thingy, but, yeah, that's it, man, really, I don't even know, man, he's just like, yo, he, I remember what my mum was saying, because I asked my mum as well, like, yo, how have I got the name Mads? I was at work and she was just like, yeah, obviously your older brother named you that yeah. one time and so and so and like, it stuck with me. Mm. It clicks like that, like, yo, when you like, who do you know like up here called Mads really? Like, who do you know in general called Mads? It's no just way. like, yeah, that's what I mean. So like, I'm kind of glad I've got that name. Like, you know, it's me in it more or less. Mm. So kind of throwing you off here, what's the maddest thing you've done? What's the maddest thing that- in terms, of, in, in terms of what, like? Just everything in life. Fucking hell, I don't know, man. I've done some, believe me, I've done some crazy shit, man. Especially in my younger days, from when I was like 13 to like 16 and that like 17. Uh, I don't even know, you know. I don't even want to do, I don't even want to say some mad shit because we're on camera in it, but fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, shit, man, I don't know, man. I'm trying to think, man. You know what it is, the best, ah, oh, shit. Right, it's mad. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of all the match. I'm thinking of all the mad shit that I've done, and it's popping up in my brain. So I'm fucking, I don't know, man. Straight up, like the maddest of the maddest. Yeah, I'm trying to think now, man. Like, all right, I'll tell you something funny. It's kind of sad, but it's funny at the same time. We was on the bus. It was me and my cousin in it, and we sat at the back of the bus, yeah. And like, he had a hot chocolate, yeah. Proper sad shit, like it's, it's, it's pathetic in it. Like, obviously, I was young and he's had a hot chocolate and he's hanged out the window, yeah? And he's obviously, he's threw it, but he didn't mean to throw it at someone. He just threw it in the air and he's threw. And he's gone far, like we've watched it and hot chocolate's landed on the guy's face. Oh, oh no, that ain't proper sad shit. Like I look back, I thought, rah. But when you're young and you're that age, you think, yo, like it's fuckery like that. That's up there, innit? It's kind of, nah, you know, it's not even up there because I've done mad shit and I can't really like say anything, but like, that's like, it's, it's that hot. Imagine walking, yeah? And, Someone out the window threw out chocolate and just it's fired, the yeah. And he's turned around and he's looked and he's just seen man on the bus, me, me and my cousin at the back of the bus. Fuck it out. Like, like just waving your arms. Yeah, 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 laughing yeah. and that. But yeah. you know, when you're that age, how old is it now? About 15, innit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you do dumb shit, don't you, when you're, when you're that age, but yeah. I mean, do you think, like, coming from Bradford and coming from like, the ends, do you think that, like, that inspires Prem Sam to, to, to live a better life, do you think? Like Yeah, 100%, 100, 100%. I feel like y'all, like, especially in Bradford, there's no, like, there's nothing really, like, to expand, man. So I just think, like, yo, like, being from here, but you know, in terms of the scene, the music scene, man, it's getting healthier every time, man. Like, all eyes up here dropping tits, man. I like to see that, man, every time, man. So mm. it's good, that 100%, man. I mean, what, what inspired you to make the tape and what kind of, what made you think, oh, I want to do a tape, like, you know, like... Just having some, some like, a artwork of me in it. Like, everyone knows me, more or less, from Prem Sound. Like, obviously, I've been doing music for years, like, literally about seven, eight years, like, from, from early, I'm talking, like, 2010. And then, them times I've been doing music, but that's all old, that's all old stuff. I can't really show people that, but obviously, I've worked with Prem and everything. It's been on the preem thing, but I want to get something out that's me in it. I've got a story to say as well, same as anyone else in preem. They've got a story to say. So, I like, that's what it is where I just thought, yo, I'll get my story out, I'll get what I've got to say. So, I'm a solo artist, everyone else is a solo artist, but together, it's preem sound. Everything's on the preem sound, regardless. Like, the whole thing's on the preem sound, but I just thought I want to get my story out, my team out, and that's it, really. Respect, man. But yeah, thank you. Time Matters yeah. is out now. I love, man. Time Matters, literally Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, everything, man. Got stream that 100%. Big up to Marcus Smith every time, man. Jesus, thanks, oh, man. Yeah, definitely. Get the bottle, pop, pop in the bottle over. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get away, man. Trust me, I'm trying to get touched right now. Drink to that, man. Come on.